Okay, we are back. I just didn't want anything to happen with that video because if I've gotten an error, then I totally lose that video, and that was a pretty awesome video. Still defrosting. Don't know if you can see any of the drippage on the bottom of the unit. I can't find any. And also, since this is a newer XL series, um, it doesn't have the um, weather guard top on top of the normal louvered fan grill. It just has the, the weather guard top. Like some of the older XL 1200s have two fan grills. And that might actually be better because it keeps the leaves and shit out of the unit. You can see that being vibrated around. Yeah, it's not steaming anymore, but it's it's given off a lot of heat. And I'll come back later, hopefully, and do a startup shutdown. But if I don't get that today, um, I have permission to film it whenever I want. I'll be back. This is a long-ass defrost cycle. This is a really long ass defrost cycle. And I thought this was an ultra efficiency heat pump. I didn't know the XL1800 was super efficiency. I thought that was the um, XL1200 and the XL1400. And. The reversing valve and all the other guts are either behind this panel, this panel, oh there it goes, there it goes, it's coming out of defrost. That's usually an indication that it's coming out of defrost. I'm trying to, s oh there's a lot of heat coming out, out of it now. This is a long defrost cycle. Didn't I just happen to be, didn't I just happen to decide to come here at the right time? Now, as I was saying, the reversing valve is either behind this panel or this panel. has demand defrost or interval defrost because this thing's turning out to be long and I can't believe this thing's almost 14 years old and it's in such good shape usually these units are really really like not trained just other brands are usually rusty or beaten up and a lot of times these um, steam shows every year will will um, cause the rut, the paint to peel off and the fan grill to start to rust, but this is made out of heavy duty plastic. Jeez, this is a long defrost cycle. This is a really long defrost cycle. Nineteen ninety eight and I keep dropping my camera case. 1998 Train XL1800 Super Efficiency Weathertron Heat Pump. Hasn't had any problems in almost 14 years. Owners tell me it's been a great heat pump. And now the camera battery seems to be cooperating. It didn't go down to the, the last notch. And the only reason I'm filming this is because I don't want to miss the um, compressor kicking back into the heat mode. That 
accident noise was. And the house was built in 1984. Um, no idea what exactly um, replaced, this replaced. A lot of heat coming out of it still, no steam, and there goes the battery. Um, don't know how much longer this is going to last. It's been defrosting for at least 10 minutes now. Jesus. I might just have to throw in the towel for now. I can't believe it hasn't come back into heat mode yet. Either there's something wrong with it, which I highly doubt, um, or it's demand defrost and it won't stop defrosting until every last bit of ice is off of it. Because it's definitely still running in cool mode, I mean, um, low side is um, cool. Really wish I could see those. Do oh, there's part of one. Don't know how well you can see that. I'm trying to get a view of the um, dual compressors here. This is like the precursor to the XL 19i and XL 20i right here. Jesus Christ. Jesus, man. And it looks like the heat demand may have been met. That was a long defrost cycle. That was a really long defrost cycle. Alright, even if I don't get the startup shutdown video today, that was good enough for me. A full defrost cycle with steam. Alright, this is a 1998 train XL 1800 super efficiency Weathertron heat pump. Five tons. And this summer, I'll probably be back to get a video of it running in cool mode. Alright. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.